Hello. Our radio drama Echoes of Kulian has now come to an end. We sincerely hope that you enjoyed it. Please do leave a comment and let us know. This series, as we mentioned earlier, is based on true events, so this is not the very end of the Kulian story. And in fact, beyond this radio drama, there are many more interesting and touching stories to be shared. 一九九二年春天，我当时在中国福建省的福州市。In February 2012, while visiting the U.S. as China's vice president, Xi Jinping shared an inspiring story from 1992. He recounted discovering an article titled "A Ku Liang While Working in Fuzhou." Which narrated the deep connection of an American couple, the Gardners, with Ku Liang. He invited Mrs. Gardner to visit China to fulfill her husband Milton's last wishes. On June the 28th, 2023. Chinese President Xi Jinping sent a congratulatory letter to a forum titled "Bond of Kuliang," focused on the people-to-people -people friendship between China and the United States. In the letter, Xi stated, quote, "Their stories have shown once again that the Chinese and American peoples can transcend differences in system, culture, and language and build profound friendships." End quote. Over the past three decades, the descendants of American families who once lived in Kuliang, known as Kuliang Friends, have returned, driven on by their shared heritage. They work tirelessly to deepen the cultural and friendly ties between China and America, ensuring that the spirit of Kuliang endures through the generations. Ellen McInnes, a key figure among the Cool Young Friends and the initiator of this reunion, introduces us to the past glories and everyday life of Cool Young. Between the late 1800s and the first half of the 20th century, there were foreigners that came from all over the world, many from the U.S. and Britain, Germany, Australia, and other countries, and some of them opened. Schools and clinics for the local people when they were spending their summers in Kuliang. They took care of the local residents, and the local residents built houses, and they also raised the food. So they had a community where people really looked out after each other, and they developed some close bonds, and they lived together in harmony. Ellen's father-in-law, Donald A. McInnes, was an educator in Fuzhou and a veteran of the American Air Force's Flying Tigers. Yes, he's the prototype of Lieutenant Daniel in our radio drama. Ellen's husband, Peter, was born in Fuzhou and spent his summers in Kuliang, where many expatriates, including missionaries, doctors, and teachers, formed a close-knit community with the locals. The stories that we Found on Kuliang were stories of that spoke of people caring for each other, of people working for peace, and stories of people serving the people. I think when when people share like that, the beautiful life happens in you. Their stories are inspiring, and they I think they'll inspire people today to think about other people, not just ourselves. Among the members of the Kuliang Friends, many have their own stories and deep connections with the place. In 1901, my grandfather came to China, and in 1902, my grandmother came out to meet him, and they were married on Kuliang. And、um, he spent a great deal of time at this house, and from here he did a lot of his work. Which was studying nature in the Kuliang area. In I lived in、uh, China until I was 12 years old,、uh, and every summer we would go up to Kuliang when it got hot. Our house had、uh, pine trees all around it, and you would hear the wind in the pines like singing. We would go 
freely over the hills. To the My city. family had a house there on the mountain, and we have a lot of connections with Kulian. My grandparents met and married there, and my father was born. Actually, my father loved China, it was the land of his birth, and he spoke the Fuzhou dialect uh, fluently before he uh, ever learned English as a young child, and he retained his language abilities. My whole family was born in China. It was the first home that I knew. It's been a part of my life. If you talk to Americans that have lived in China, they are proud that they lived in China. Len, do you want to say something? This is Lun Billing, who spent 16 years in Kuliang from 1920. He still recalled the local dialect vividly, even at 101 years old. The native language and the land of Kuliang remain enduringly precious memories for many Kuliang friends like him. <laughs> Besides foreigners who had lived in Kuliang, their childhood companions native to China also vividly remember the days they spent together. When we interviewed 82-year-old Li Yi Ying, the real-life inspiration behind the character Ling Ying, the little Chinese girl in the last episode of our radio drama, she fondly recounts the bygone era and how she played with her American counterpart over 70 years ago. And guess what? They did share the same birthday. Even now, Granny Li cherishes memories of the birthday song they joyfully sang together. <laughs> the stories of Kuliang have become the stories we tell. In closing our series, we hear from Liu Zhonghan, the author of the novel A Kuliang. He is the Chinese student who helped Mrs. Gartner to find Kuliang and the first Chinese person to write down these precious Kuliang stories. Hello, listeners. I'm Liu Zhonghan, author of the long form documentary novel A Kuliang. I'm also the Chinese student who, alongside Betty, discovered the secret of Kuliang through old stamps at her home. I'm the character Zhong Han in the drama. The deep-seated Chinese sentiment of yearning for one's homeland is beautifully encapsulated in the enduring dedication of the American couple Milton and Betty. Their story was so moving that I felt compelled to share it. What truly resonate aren't just my words, but the profound and lasting affection and commitment that Milton and Betty held for Ku Liang. Their story has moved millions in both China and the U.S., symbolizing and fostering enduring friendship between our nations. A heartfelt thank you to CGTN Radio for your diligent efforts and compelling portrayals, allowing this beautiful and poignant true story to reach a global audience, furthering peace and friendship worldwide. Your contributions are immensely valuable. If Milton and Betty could hear this from heaven, they would surely shed tears of joy and repeat with love echoes of Ku Liang. Ku Liang is greener and greener, and I hope forever greener. Ku Liang is already better and better. Kulian is cool. Kulian, yeah! Bing on, bing on. Bing on, bing on. Shout a shi ho. Zai chu xia de tian gen shang. Xing he shan liang. Ban ni ge sheng yo yang. Ni wen wo liu shan ji sui. 
还有那明月山岗。你说那山外风光，把思念带到远方。夏日炎炎，古井水送来清凉。溪水涓涓，竹蜻蜓放飞梦想。汽笛声声，在你远渡重阳。前途漫漫，我依然为你歌唱。千山万水，依然是孤零的孩子。梦到的地方，会永远是故乡。Dear Grand Patrick, I wish that we could stay friends forever. Me, Dashen, and Hayen. What? We will.